Hi, what's up, y'all? It's poppin'. It's D. About to react to this vid by Jamari. It's titled "Fuzzy Tube Destroys Career, Then Gets Banned." I haven't heard from him in a very long time. Don't know what he's up to. Uh, apparently, he's up to destroying his career and, and getting banned based on the title. Let's see what happened. Let's watch. So Fuzzy Tube is someone who really needs no introduction. By now, he is a YouTube OG who has spent the last decade or so building himself up just to tear himself down over and over and over again. Oh, okay. To be honest, there's really no one comparable to him on the internet. And to stay relevant after destroying his life time and time again is actually really impressive. The rebuilding of himself usually consists of getting back into shape, maybe some religion thrown into the mix, a lot of motivational talk, and then come the delusions of grandeur. It's like just as he's doing well, he becomes like a sports car with his foot jammed on the acceleration with no brakes, and eventually crashes right in front of the public eye. At this point, we have seen prankster Fousey, wannabe Drake Fousey, motivational speaker Fousey, house hunter Fousey, boxing Fousey where he was horrible, and now in the latest arc, we have live stream of Fousey. For years, he had dabbled in live streaming, but this time he really took things to the next level, streaming his entire life for over a month straight. Obviously, for someone like him, with the mental illness he has displayed in the past, this was a horrible idea. And despite the fact that it was going well, and he had a couple of viral moments and was making some good money, it's now once again time in the cycle for the crash portion. And today we are going to look at the craziness that was the last 24 hours on his stream. And I don't know if he's just into public humiliation or what, but some of the things that get clipped the most in his stream yeah, is when people donate to him, they can write a text message and he has some sort of speaker with him that will read this message out loud. Text from mom. I don't like this. I don't like him associating himself with J. Cole so heavily. I saw the Dreamville shirts a few times, and now he's playing a J. Cole song, I guess, every time somebody donate. Leave Jermaine out of your nonsense, okay, sir? I've seen the letter from the clinic you have AIDS and have not told us. This is wrong, Yusuf. It was Little Kids last week, now an STD. So this is what he was basically doing over and over again, was going out in public and acting like a bit of a menace. I mean, we know he loves attention. We know this guy basically lives for views and impressions. So it's not surprising to me that he would lose his mind trying to get them. And this is where things get really crazy as Fousey took a trip to the airport. I'm such a dickhead. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not, I'm a great person. I can tell. How are you? Hey, how are you? I'm so good. It's a cult, basically. I'm not kidding you. You're in a cult? Yeah. You're sober? Yeah, well, okay. no. <laughs> I have a Discord, right? Mm -hmm. With like 8,000 members. Can I send them a picture of me and you kissing? Yeah. To piss them off? So he meets this woman at the airport. She's clearly been at the bar drinking. And then right off the bat, he's asking her for a kiss. He's trying to make this an intimate situation. She's obviously into it. And honestly, I just Idiot. find the whole thing to be disgusting. Kissing it random ratchet drunk he... women at the airport sounds like a very quick That's way to find thing. yourself at the health clinic. They're going to cancel me for this. I don't care. Though. I don't right now. I swear to God, you can feel it under my pants. I swear yeah. to God. It's a nasty dude. <laughs> Did you join the Mile High Club with me? Um, so I got sold in the straight. You got sold in the straight? I actually care about the shit because I'm like an advocate for like against trading and all that shit. What happened? And I just want to pause it right here to say that it's been very well documented that Fousey has had a serious problem with in the past and back in the day when he was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a month living in some insane LA apartment he would always talk about oh I have this addiction I have this problem but I can't tell you guys what it is that is until Vitaly exposed him one day because the two were very close and basically all I'll say about this is that this guy was not above paying for action and at one time he was allegedly going out every single day and doing so whether oh, that be man. him skimming through the yellow pages looking yellow for it, page. going to a sketchy massage <laughs> parlor. Yeah, so to call himself an advocate for these type of victims is just a little bit rich to me. Like you were not an advocate, dude. You were one of the main customers. You're trying to make me a lot older recently. A what? Yeah, a lot older. Yeah, I get it. Uh, 
Uh, first of all, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you being this honest. This is a real conversation. No, it's real. It My audience it might not understand, but I've been there. I used to be a static, so I used to for years. Well, look, um, he's telling her about that. What you mean? I used thank massage parlors for years, so I understand. How long were you stuck under his spell? Um, about six, seven months. Really? I'm sorry to hear that. Well, she got out look, of I just said something. Yeah. I'm sitting there in court. And so I guess at this point, Fousey is trying to make himself look like a good person, showing his chat that he sent this woman $300. And the whole thing just comes off as very tasteless to me. Like if you were really an advocate for these type of people and you really wanted to help this woman, you would take her off your live stream and do this type of thing off camera because there's no way she really understands the magnitude of how far this clip is going to get spread and how embarrassing that could be for her that so many people now know this information about her for $300. Hey, to everybody who's sitting here like, oh my God, you kissed her, da da da. This woman was involved in okay. The guy who manipulated her and brainwashed her is a piece of fucking shit and deserves to die. So yes, I sent her $300 so she can start removing her tattoo and see her kids this weekend. I'm against that. A lot of the women that I used to get jumps from were uh, traffic. And I'm so ashamed in that. What the and fuck? just watch this right here, guys, because you're going to see how ashamed Fousey truly is. He used women like this in the past, okay? It was his deepest, darkest secret, and I'll just let him take the floor. I just joined the Mile High Club. Yeah. And I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God, I swear on everything I love. So he took this woman who obviously has, you know, if she's telling the truth, a very damaged relationship with okay, and joined the trying. Mile High Club with her in the airport bathroom. I mean, at this point, this guy Fousey is just disgusting. <laughs> I just joined the Mile High Club in the airport in the men's bathroom. <laughs> I swear to God, Lola, Lola, I have to confess, I couldn't so hold it for a second. I didn't go to buy her no snacks. I joined in my life. I'm sorry. 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 I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. I mean, this all sounds like a very good way to join the no-fly list. I'm sure he'll try and use his mental health as a cop-out in this situation. But honestly, he's just not a very good person. So he starts crying, he starts playing the sympathy card. Like, dude, absolutely no one feels bad for you. You do this to yourself every single time. And so then he just started sending messages in his chat, just saying, I'm sorry, y'all. I felt badly. I have a lot of skeletons in my closet. I'm not a good person. Like, oh, we all feel so bad for you, man. Like, to me, he's really nothing more than the boy who cried wolf. And then someone noticed that his mods were trying to cover up the airport incident. I guess he continued to stream. He then tweets out, I'm currently on a plane home. Yes, I spiraled. I'm going to call my therapist as soon as I land. Oh, what a noble person you are, Fousey. Thank you for keeping me in check. I need sleep. I need rest. I've lost the plot. I need to find it. Yeah, you need to stay off the internet, my guy. You Absolutely. obviously just cannot handle it. And once you get that little taste of power, you're right back into that grip of insanity and you crash once again. He then apparently started doing things like this. Oh my God, this is uncomfortable. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if there was a cornier person out there than Fousey too. I mean, what, does this guy think his life is some sort of sick movie? Where he's the main character who can just never get his life ready, can never get out of his own way? This is also just a little bonus clip for you guys. That memory was deeply burned into your brain. That memory right there, since the first time I had, even after that when I was wrestling with a family friend, and I in my pants. That moment right there caused me years and years and years and years and years of failed relationship. I mean, you could not pay me any amount of money <laughs> to, to tell get that, that confession out of me. <laughs> that is some straight up skippy activity right there. And then I also just wanted to show this. Apparently he got a temporary suspension from Twitch after this all went down. I mean, the guy obviously knows how to garnish attention, but man, does he also know how to f it all up. Personally, I feel absolutely no sympathy for him. In fact, I feel much more sympathy towards that woman. Even if her story is not true, just to be put on display like that and to be used for the purposes of entertainment is just some really nasty work. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Mm, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he is trifling and he definitely could have handled the situation differently. But I just feel like we're in this climate today that's so politically correct. And it's like, oh, let's let's baby victims. Let's cuddle them. Oh, my God, protect them. And it's like, sure, but I don't see him 
being this predatory person that people are making him out to be in this particular situation. I mean, yes, you can say morally he could have made better decisions. He didn't have to do this. I agree with that. But at the same time, she was a willing participant. It's not like he forced anything on her. He even asked for consent. He asked to kiss her, and she agreed. He gave her money, and, you know, they did what they did. He basically paid for her services or whatever. And you can argue that, oh, well, she wasn't in the right headspace. She's been through a lot. If she's telling the truth about that, because a lot of people lie, let's be fucking clear, okay? But if she's telling the truth, cool, you can say that, you know, well, she is not, she's mentally damaged, who knows what she's been through. You can say the same about this man. He has years and years worth of content showing how mentally damaged he is. So he's not in the right head space either. So we're going to be an advocate for, for her and not him with all his mental instability? Like, so I, I don't know. So I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. Like people trying to completely demonize him for this. It's like, she, she, she agreed to it as well. Yes, he is also trifling. He could have made better decisions for sure and putting her on camera, sure. But it's like, she knew she was on camera. It's not like it was a hidden camera and she didn't know. Like, she was involved by her own free will. <laughs> so we, we just gonna leave that out. She's, she's not a child, she's a grown woman. So, yeah, but I don't know. I, I feel like he definitely needs to get offline because um, he is making himself look bad because, like I said, morally, it's is that the best thing to do? No, absolutely not. But, yeah, I just feel like people saying, oh, well, he's so predatory. It's just like, okay, I, I think that's a bit much personally. But, you know, whatever. I think he needs to get his shit together. Maybe this ban or, or temporary suspension will be good for him. He can reflect on life and come back and put better shit on his stream. Cause what? Why? Why would you? <laughs> why would you document this and then come back and talk about? It? Oh yeah, I just fucked her in the bathroom. Like that's trifling for sure. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.